I don't want to stop my kid growing up just because I can't predict what she's going to do after high school. Why that thinking is a, why that is a false parallel or, or why it might be and what risks, um, what risks sit behind that kind of thinking. So you see the general pattern. The more capable your child becomes, the more independent they are. The baby is fully controllable. You place it somewhere, it stays there. You are completely determining what it's going to do. At some point, it learns to crawl. Now you have to keep track of it. Maybe it escapes. Then you have teenagers. God knows what they're going to do. The moment they turn 18, they're independent agent from you. You are not controlling their life. They can do what they want. Hopefully, they're a good human being. That's the best you can hope for. Some parents get very disappointed. Their kids grow up to be serial killers, maniacs, monsters. Maybe they were good parents. They didn't program it in. It's just something in the hardware or software or interactions was not accounted for. And let's say they're very unlucky. It's a monster. They go on and kill five people. That's terrible but their capabilities to cause damage are limited. They're not gonna kill a billion people, no matter how hard they try. This technology can. That's the difference. You're creating an independent agent, not a tool. Narrow AI is a tool. General AI is an agent. An agent which is likely to be smarter than you. So whatever it decides to do, for game theoretic reasons, for evolutionary reasons, if you're not predicting it, if you're not anticipating it, if you have no idea what's going to happen, you are placing yourself in a very dangerous situation.